Okay, so this time is for real. I was finally able to test what is probably the best Taro HDR that we have available on the PC. And people have been telling me about it for such a long time. It was in front of me and I couldn't see it. I already shared the link, uh, but this time I'm actually going to show you where you have to click. So you can actually get this major pain the cactus out on to reshade, but with this update, which allows you to enable SC RGB instead of HDR10, and the difference is supposed to be just a higher quality in general, just a higher, you know, bit rate. So you can potentially get less color banding. So now, do I have like a side by side comparison to show you? Okay, well, here is the difference. Not yet. I need to you know, play the games more, and then when I see color banding with one, then say, okay, well, let me try the other one. And it's tough to find that example, but what I, what I can tell you is that this just looks absolutely amazing. Okay, it's just like, it just works. Just enable this um, add-on, and you just use this Lilium's inverse tone mapping. All you have to do is just select the brightness, depending on your display, and done. Okay, it's, it's just no flawless. There's no tweakings or small things you have to do. Maybe in a game you might have to, you know, fine tune the black level for some reason because the base uh, SDR is messed up. But aside from selecting the brightness and also the content TRC, which is basically what is the original SDR gamma of the game, which in this case, for example, this game even tells you the gamma is 2.2 just come here and the game is gonna tell you this is 2.2 gamma so you don't have to guess at all that's all you have to do and it just just works so well that after you try this you're just gonna wonder why are we getting so many games with messed up HDR if this is so easy and it, and it works so consistently well but enough of that Give this a try, but let me show you how you can actually download this update, okay? As I share with you this link, so you come here, major pain the cactus, and to begin with, you don't even have a download button that you can see, so you, what I did the first time was just to select, you know, each file, and then just click download here, and go to the next file, click download, one by one, okay? That's what I was able to come up with. And it works, you can download all the files, but this um, add-on to reshade, it is old. This is like two years old. So now we have a very better updated uh, version. And I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna share this link directly. So you just get here and you can download this latest uh, version but actually what i was missing was to click um here where it says um here where it says auto hdr basically so i was here okay and i didn't know i had to click where it says auto hdr because i thought what this means is that okay we are here endlessly flowering a slash auto hdr reshade i thought okay I am here already and not you're not you have to actually click here when you click here boom this is the update four months ago you see this is the SC RGB update and then after you are here then you click here where it says the latest okay and I know this looks kind of weird because I have a high contrast theme on window okay and I like it this way all the letters are yellow and everything else is black. That's just the way I have my PC set up. But yeah, it's right here. Just click on the latest, boom, and you're gonna get here. I'm gonna have this link in the description of the video. And then you just have to download this zip and unzip this file, okay? And I think you actually need also the original files. Uh, so download the original, the old one, and this one, and just copy everything. But you might not even need that, but I, I, I copy everything to the, to the uh, game folder. So I can use that add-on. So then you have to 
link in the description of the video, you have to download the reshade with full add-on support. Okay, not the, not the regular reshade. You need that reshade with full add-on support. So download that, install that. And of course, download the Lilium shaders. Link in the, in the description of the video. Download this. And all you have to do is either you open reshade and you select the add-on path. So basically where are these files after you unzip them you just have to come here for example let me show you come here and reshape add-ons and then you just click here and then you select the add-on path okay so you can do that or you can just copy those major paint the cactus files you can just copy that where the game executable uh, is okay so where you double click the game, you can just copy that there and it, that's going to be the default add-on path. And you have to restart the game. So the first time you open the game, it's not going to work. You have to restart the game for the add-on to work. And then after that, you just need to enable. You have to check this box, auto HDR, enable HDR. And you also have to check this use sCRGB instead of HDR10. And then you have to restart the game one more time for that to work. Okay. So that's it. And the Lilium shaders are easy to download. Just download them. Link in the description of the video. All you have to do is just to copy the textures and shaders folder. Copy that additional information to where Reshade is creating that shaders and textures folder, which is basically where the game executable is. So everything is right there. And that's it. That's how you get this working. And let me tell you, man, this is probably, again, this is probably the best uh, HDR that we have available. It just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I set up my camera settings right now to have a high uh, gain. So you're, everything's going to be clipping on the recording. Um, not this scene. This scene looks okay. You can see here, for example, the colors. Uh, BT2020, we're getting some HDR colors here. And we have perfect black floor, so we have perfect black, zero nits. The colors are fantastic. I mean, this is just great. You just look at this graph, you see that there is no like, there's no segmentation, like it looks like eight bits or something. You see a lot of lines here at the bottom, you don't see that. It looks very, very, very uh, compact, solid. It looks like we have a lot of information here and it just it's perfect I, I have no no defects you can use HGIG with this and it's going to look as bright as your TV can get there's no way you're gonna feel like oh I need dynamic tone mapping it's not necessary this is gonna be as bright as your TV gets <laughs> dynamic tone mapping might be dimmer in some areas because this is just pushing all the brightness possible when it is necessary of course like in this scene it was not pushing it but now if i come here on the recording it's gonna be clipping because it is very very bright so all of that's gonna be clipping um i'm not sure i guess because it's, it's very very bright actually uh and it looks fantastic you see the brightness there see i set to 800 nits that's what we're getting so there's no and you see here the the average brightness and the maximum peak brightness here. You see, average brightness like 100 nits here. So this is absolutely amazing. You give this a try and probably, I know a lot of people tried this and you're gonna want to use it on every game you can and don't even bother with native HDR. Why? Because there, there are no settings. <laughs> you, have to, you don't have to tweak anything here. Um, you don't have to be you know, very careful with the black black floor because the developers mess that up all the time. Uh, but I would still recommend you to use to give the native HDR a try and try to fix that with the Lilium shaders. Um, but yeah, the other thing I was working on to do like a you know more comprehensive guide or this is something I was, I'm still going to try in other games. I'm going to try to figure it out, so see if I can share this with you, is the ability to 
add transparency to the HUD elements on the game with another add-on on Reshape. And this is great because, for example, in this game, look, I have the HUD right now turned off. But I actually need the HUD to play the game because, you know, <laughs> there are some you know, good information there that, that I need some time. And as you can see here, the hood on this game is, is terrible. Absolutely ter I mean, it's not terrible, it's just too big on the screen. And I have all this, you know, all the objective there. And, and it's all the time there, it just does not move. I don't like that, especially when using Auto HDR because it's too bright. It's like, you know, 800 nits all the time. If you're playing a long time, you don't want that on an OLED. It's not that I'm worried about burning, but I don't like it anyway. You know, regardless of burning, even if it was an LCD screen, I would like to get some opacity for that uh, hood. And there is a way to do that, but it seems like this add-on is conflicting or there's like a, like a priority hierarchy or something. And it's not working as it as, as it's supposed to be I believe because I'm I watched like two videos on YouTube and how to use this add-on and I am not getting the response that I'm supposed to get but give that a try I'm gonna link this in the description of the video too it is called reshade effect shader toggler and you can see here we have an overlay opacity and what this add-on basically does is that it allows you to select certain elements of the game. And then after you find the hood elements, you can just you know, delete them if you want or add opacity or whatever. And that would be like a, the perfect combination for auto HDR. Because, you know, we get all that brightness, all that quality. And we can also, you know, make the hood dimmer. That's uh, just perfect. That's the way to go. So as soon as I figure that out, I'm going to make a video. And if some of you watching, you know how to you know, get this set up or you manage to get this working yourself, let me know. <laughs> what am I missing? Because I'm supposed to just click here, you know, just add a new list, you know, below here where it says list of toggle gr groups. I'm just supposed to you know, click here, edit, just get a shortcut key. And then here, instead of settings, it is supposed to, after I hit OK, in here in settings, there's supposed to be a button that after you click that, you see that um, add-on working. And it loads, and then it, it lets you switch between the elements of the game until you find the HUD, and then you add the HUD, and then you can change it or something like that. It's just not working. It's not... I don't know if, in, if they changed this on an update and I have to do something different here. I don't know. But let me know if you know that part so I can make um, another video about it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.